This is the weird science behind the Minecraft Eye of Ender. The Minecraft Eye of Ender. Crafted from blaze powder and ender pearls, they allow you to throw them. The eye will point you in the direction of the stronghold, and when put into the end portal, they allow you to go to the end dimension. Have you ever wondered, how do these things even work? They are obviously fiction, but do they show some real life science? What causes them to point in the direction of strongholds and have the power to open gateways into different dimensions? Do they have magnetic or supernatural properties? That is what we are getting to the bottom of in this video. If you could also get to the bottom of the page and hit that red button as well, that would be awesome. Subscribe if you're interested and enjoy the video. Let us look at the Eye of Ender's constituents. Constituent meaning what it is made of. It is crafted using blaze powder and an ender pearl. In a previous video, I figured out that the ender pearl is most likely a pearl created by an oyster, the shulker. I concluded that the shulker is an oyster. Real life pearls are created when a creature like an oyster or a clam traps a parasite in a pearl. In my video about blazes, I concluded that blazes are machines that are held together with magnetic or magical properties. Speaking of magnetic properties, let's look at one of the Eye of Ender's properties. It points to the direction of strongholds, like a compass. This probably indicates that the Ender Pearl is magnetic in some way. There are many objects in Minecraft that are magnetic. Compasses, lodestones, Eyes of Ender, etc. The iron in a compass makes it magnetic, and the lodestone somehow redirects a compass to point back at itself, the lodestone. What would make the Eye of Ender magnetic? My guess would be the blaze powder. My theory is that blazes are machines. The blaze rods probably orbit the blaze because of its metal magnetic pull. The grounded up blaze powder is infused into the ender pearl and make the Eye of Ender magnetized. Eyes of Ender are also used to craft end crystals, which seem to be partially held together by magnetic forces. Here is the big question. How could an Eye of Ender point to a stronghold? How could this happen? What could cause this? The way compasses work is that the metal part of the compass gets attracted to the planet's magnetic field. The compass isn't necessarily attracted to the North Pole, rather, the compass aligns itself with the magnetic field of the planet. This is the shape of Earth's magnetic field. If compasses surrounded the planet, they would follow the lines of the magnetic field. In a Minecraft compass though, it points to the world spawn. This could mean that the world spawn is the magnetic North Pole of the Minecraft planet. Lodestones also have a weird power of being able to redirect a compass's direction. This could mean that the lodestone gives off a different magnetic field only certain compasses can detect. If you rub a metal with another magnet, it causes the metal to become magnetized. Maybe this is what happens. When you rub a compass onto a Minecraft lodestone, the compass gets attracted to the lodestone's magnetic field. The compass then points to the lodestone no matter where you are, as long as you are in the same dimension. This means that its magnetic field is massive. Fun fact, a lodestone is a real life thing. It is a naturally magnetized rock. Real life lodestones were and are used as compasses. But what about the Eye of Ender? This is just fun speculation, but maybe whoever built the end portal made them to attract Eyes of Ender, similar to how lodestones attract certain compasses. Like how lodestones attract compasses, end portals attract Eyes of Ender. My theory is then that end portals magnetically attract Eyes of Ender. A thing to note though, the Eye of Ender does not point to the end portal room in Minecraft. It points to the staircase room, the spiral staircase room the first room generated in a stronghold. There is one small thing we almost skipped over. When you throw these eyes of ender, they have a small chance of breaking. What could cause this? 
One idea may be that the pressure of the magnetic blaze powder pulling towards the direction of the stronghold is too great for the organic but brittle ender pearl. I'm not sure though. There's a lot of magic going inside of that eye of ender. The magnetic properties of the eye of ender come from the blaze powder and the magical properties of it from the ender pearl. Eyes of Ender also have another weird property. They are gateways to other dimensions. The first obvious example of this is that they open the gateway to the end dimension. They are also used in the Ender Chest's crafting recipe. Ender Chests seem to access another dimension as well, where objects can be stored and accessed anywhere. How could Eyes of Ender do this? Maybe the portals in Minecraft are wormholes. Wormholes are a hypothetical concept that allows you to take a shortcut through space-time. These could be possible, but could be science fiction. To build something like this would require negative energy, which we currently don't have. Negative energy, or mass, is hypothetical matter that pushes away instead of attracts. A substance like this would keep a wormhole from closing in on itself. I will try to give you a crude 2D representation of what might be happening. Picture a 2D Minecraft world, but bended. Nobody on the world would notice, since they could only walk in the second dimension. If the 2D world could bend, then two far, far away points could be connected by a 3D bridge. This is why negative energy would have to be used. The wormhole would want to naturally close up. Maybe the Eye of Ender activates the negative energy or is the magical energy needed to open a wormhole to another dimension. The Ender Pearl has the magical ability of teleportation, so maybe the portal just teleports you to the end. The ability to cross dimensions is also used in the Nether Portal, which requires heat, since a flint and steel is necessary to open the Nether Portal. This could mean that traveling dimensions requires heat. Maybe that is why the hot blaze powder is necessary to open the end portal, like a nether portal. To quickly recap the science of Minecraft Eyes of Ender, the blaze powder in the Eye of Ender makes it magnetic, and the Eye of Ender is magnetically attracted to the end portal. The Ender Pearl has teleportation abilities, which teleports you to the end dimension, or maybe wormholes are involved too. Bear in mind, that this video was made just for entertainment purposes only. Do I think this stuff is canon? Sadly, no. Want to see me try to combine science and Minecraft more? Comment your suggestions. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and check out my other videos as well.